and we're going to be looking at when you're at your desk, what's the best position to be in to ensure you don't get any RSI, so repetitive strain injuries. So the first thing to look at is always your chair. This is where you're going to spend the majority of your time, so you want to make sure that you're in the best position possible. The first thing you want to be looking at is the angle of your ankle. So you see how my ankles are at 90 degrees? That means I'm not too far forward, I'm not too far back. And that's a good neutral position to be in with your ankles. Your knees you want to be at 90 degrees and your hips you want to be at 90 degrees as well. How do you know if your knees or ankle or your hips are not at 90 degrees is your chair might be too high or too low. So as you can see there, I'm a little bit too low so I'm going to get a little bit of pinching going on in my hips and it's going to increase the flex of my lower back. So over time it's going to be causing issues. So what you want to do is you want to get that up and that's ideal for me, probably the best position I can be in. With your hands or your arms with these rests in particular, these are perfect. So if your arms are too low, you want to be increasing the armrest up a little bit higher, but you don't want to be having the armrest too high, because as you can see, that elevates my shoulders, and that can create a little bit of tension over time in your neck, and also it can cause pain into your middle back as well. You also want to make sure that with your back support, you have good stability through your lower back. So if you have a chair that gives good, a nice arch in your lower back, that's creating the natural curve, the lumbar support that you need. That means that your lower back's gonna be in its neutral position, which means you're not gonna get unnecessary strain from the muscles and the ligaments in that lower back over time. Okay, so remember it's, a, it's an accumulative effect of sitting down at a desk for hours on end, for months on end, and if you sit wrong, you're gonna get those issues and that'll cause pain in other areas of your body because your body starts to compensate. As you can see, I've got a good back support in my lower back through here. If you have a chair that's way too back through there or you're leaning too far forward, you want to adjust it so that you're sitting there nice and comfortable, your shoulders are relaxed, your lower back is in its natural curve, lower doses, which it is, my knees and ankles and hips at 90 degrees, and your head is in its neutral position as well.